you came from, why you're involved in this business, why you're excited about it, that establishes some rapport with the audience. My background is real estate. I got tired of being on the treadmill, having to do closing after closing, and I realized that this was a better vehicle. And my brother-in-law recruited me, and when he, he said those words to me, that was the main phrase that caught in my mind. He said, you're pedaling a, a bicycle, I'm driving a Ferrari. He said, it doesn't matter how fast you can pedal your bicycle, you'll never catch me in my Ferrari. You got that kind of mental image in your mind? And so I tell the audience every time I speak, I want to talk to you tonight about a financial vehicle. So here's this, this image in their mind of what's their vehicle that they're driving. And I refer to it during the meeting. I want to compare our vehicle to whatever the financial vehicle is that you're driving in your life right now. Probably heard me say that before in meetings, right? And so that's that's what I want them to do. And so the whole presentation, I'm drawing the comparisons between the two to try to show them what's in it for them in this particular opportunity. So we talk about a couple of different lifestyles. Lifestyle number one, you know, we get skills for 25 years, we go to school, we work for 40 years, and then we enjoy life for a few, and then it's over. So it's pretty quick, right? Lifestyle number two is totally different. We still acquire skills. But then we work hard for five or ten years because we're in a different vehicle. We're not in the normal job, 40-year, 40 40-hour 40 week plan, you know. That's not our deal. So we work hard. We work smart. That's kind of what, what I do now. I think I work smart. I hope I'm smart. And uh, I don't work as hard as I used to. I used to work really hard in the beginning. And now I kind of pace myself and work smart and I go where I want to go and do the meetings I want to do and, and whatnot. And it's a little bit of a different thing. But we enjoy life. You know, we actually have our life and our enjoyment integrated into our work. Our work's not something we hate, and we can't wait till it gets over. And on Monday, we wish it was Friday, and Tuesday, we wish it was Friday, and Wednesday, we wish it was Friday, Thursday, we wish it was Friday, and Friday, and Saturday, we're like, oh, I can't wait to get it. It's 5 o'clock, I'm out of here. You know, and then on Monday night, we get that sick feeling in the pit of our stomach where it kind of turns over, and we go, 60 minutes is over. Ooh, it's Monday, tomorrow, got to go back to the to the cell, you know, that's not the, that's not what we do. So ours is different. We have fun while we go, while we're doing the business. So let's talk about the components of the vehicle. So number one, we got market trends. Number two, we got technology and products and science, right? Number three, the company. Number four, compensation. Number five, timing. So that's what we're going to tell you. Now let's tell you. And at the end, we'll tell you what we told you. Four big market trends. And every one of these is propelling this company forward. What I try to get people to understand on this point is that if you don't have trends helping you and you, you've got to do it all yourself, it's going to be hard. What you want to find is you want to find industries that are growing anyway. Stuff that's already in motion that you don't have to try to create the impetus and try to put it in motion. It's already growing. It's already going to be a huge industry. What you want to do is find those and spot those and then align yourself with that movement that's already happening. You know, rising tide lifts all ships, right? That's what happens. You just want to find those rising tides. If you're in industries that are flat or declining, there is no opportunity. The people that are there are scratching to get what they can and maintain, right? You've got to find industries that are already growing and hopefully exploding. And if you can find that and attach yourself to that, then you can let them sweep you along and go for the ride. So that's what we talk about with market trends. Second thing I want people to think about this is a business we're talking about. You owning your own business, right? What you want to do if you own your own business is you want to find sustainable movements of money. You don't want these short-term fads. They're too short. You don't have enough time to get a line, to learn it, to build a team with it, and profit from it. So if we're going to identify trends, we want to find things that are 10, 20, 30 years in duration. And they're big enough in size. The market sizes are big enough that millions of people can participate and will participate as those markets grow and mature and reach their potential. So that's what New Skin has done, you know. Those are just basic things you have to have inside any opportunity. And when we talk about anti-aging, we know anti-aging is going to become a trillion dollar industry. It's already halfway there. You know, we're, that's a given. That's not even a question if that's going to happen. Okay, we know that because more people are alive over 65 today than have ever been alive in all ages of time combined on this planet. They're alive right now. 
We're going to have more than a billion people over 65 in the next 10 years on this planet. We know that every two and a half seconds, somebody turns 65 on this planet. Every two and a half seconds. And that's going to happen every two and a half seconds for the next 20 years in a row. Okay? That's a fact. And it doesn't matter what people think about it. And I get pretty aggressive right here when I say that in the presentation. Because I tell them it doesn't matter what you even think about that. Whether you believe it or not, because it's going to happen. It's done. And that fact alone will ensure this will be a $10 billion company. Period. You know? I mean, that's it, right? So that's a given. And, and, you know, that's right at the beginning of the presentation. I'm starting with facts. And I want to see the yes in the room. I want, I want to see their heads going, yeah, he's right. That's exactly right. That is a fact. You know, if I can get their head going like this on the first point, I'm going to keep them going like that. They're already agreeing with me, right? So we put out some irrefutable facts, and that's one of them on anti-aging. We can give a lot on anti-aging. Health and wellness. People want to live long, but not just live long. They want to live well. Who wants to spend the last 10 or 15 years in a care facility or on a gurney in a wheelchair? Nobody, right? You know, quality of life is important. So people want to live better, longer. And they want to look better, longer. And those things are driving the anti-aging movement. Health and wellness is kind of a subsection of that, but a key component of anti-aging. Telecom and communications. Today, you can talk to any place, anybody, any place, anytime for free in the world. When I started this business, we didn't have cell phones, didn't have the internet, all we had was fax machines, and there were no global directories of anybody to even figure out who was there. There was no social media, there was nothing that we have today. So today, the world has become a network. That's what we've always been. So the world has come to us now. It's matched exactly with our business model. And that's a really potent, you know, mixture, combination right there. Number four is supplemental income. 60% of the people have zero retirement savings in America. Pension plans are toast. People are going to live longer. Pension plans were never designed for people to live to 80 and 90 years of age. They're all going to run out at about 70, 75 years of age. The money's gone. Every country in the world screwed when it comes to retirement, pension plans, Social Security. Every private pension plan is in huge trouble. People don't say they think Social Security is going to be their retirement solution. It was never intended to be the whole thing. It was always a supplemental retirement solution, okay? People are so underprepared that to make a thousand extra dollars a month is going to become absolutely key to people in the future. They're going to get to retirement, and that extra thousand a month is going to become huge to people. And you'll see millions of people join this industry, and we think a lot of them will join this company because they get the double benefit. They can be in and talk about anti-aging, and they can anti-age while they're getting older, be healthier, live better, longer. At the same time, they can make their supplemental income, and they can do it, right? So we, we know that we are lined up with big, huge, massive needs, massive trends. Uh, this opportunity, this company, this product line is completely aligned with this. We are going to get swept along and have greater success because of it. All right, we're done with number one. I tell people that. Done with one. Going to number two. Everybody tracking with me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah make it a little bit more interactive with your audience, okay? So we talk about this, and I actually have hidden some of the approved slides here, because I don't think we have time for them all in the presentation, right? So on this slide right here, three things. I said we got three laboratories around the world, we got 80 scientists on staff, and all they do all day long is push the envelope on anti-aging. That's it, okay? We got huge scientific reach, we got 80 PhDs, how many colleges did they go to? At least two, right? So how many colleagues did they have in all their classes? And where are all those people today? How many laboratories are they working at? When people have new anti-aging breakthroughs, who do you think they're going to go to? They want to go slog it out, build their own distribution channel, or do they just make a phone call to us, and if it's the right deal, boom, 53 countries. I mean, obviously, we're in an incredible position to continue to get the anti-aging breakthroughs, to continue to innovate in the future, right? So people are going out their heads. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Then we talked about patented products, right? Patents on the facial spa, five patents on the, uh, on the biophotonic scanner. And what we try to do at New Skin is we try to make products that are visual, emotional, and consumable. And we know that that's a key for our kind of distribution channel. If we can find products that make a visual change in the way people look, 
that will impact them emotionally. They'll be driven to continue the consumption of those products. It makes highly consumable products disappear. That creates monthly revenue streams that we can get paid on for the rest of our lives. All right? So we look for those characteristics in products. As we have matured as a company and had more financial resources, we're able to tighten up the ship even more. We can strike when we need to and buy technologies that are created outside of New Skin Laboratories. We're not afraid to do it. We've done it multiple times. So we will go wherever we have to go to be the leaders in anti-aging, to buy the product lines that have to be bought so we can control them. Now, why is that good for independent distributors? Because people cannot find anything like these products anywhere else. They're patented. They're protected. They have to come to you to get these products. And so that's what we want right there. In terms of the scanner, I, uh, I ask people in the room, I get audience interaction at this point, I say, how many have scores more than 40,000? Okay, people like to have them stand up, and I say, okay, everybody who's above 50, stay standing, above 60, stay standing, above 70, stay standing, above 80, stay standing, I'm down to one or two people in the room, okay? We give everybody a big hand, we got the audience standing, they're alive again, the blood's out of their butt, back in their brain, you know, they're starting to function again, right? You gotta remember, people lose interest, right? Every seven minutes they get a commercial usually, so you gotta keep them interactive, you gotta keep them moving. All right, so we do that during the presentation. We talk about what it means to have a low score versus a high score in terms of anti-aging. If you got a low score on the scanner, what that means is you're taking a lot of free radical damage every day. If you got a high score on the scanner, that means you got low damage going on in your body. And if you want to anti-age, you gotta have low damage. Right? And so you want your score as high as you can get at the end of the story and you move on to age lock. We talk about age lock, there's two components. I try to get them to understand it. This is a tricky one because it's like there's a lot to say right here and you can kind of confuse people. And confused people don't take action. So that's a bad thing. You don't want to have people confused, right? So don't try to be Joe Chang because you're not. All right? So what we say here, all I say here is this. I go, what? There's two parts to this. One part is the Rosetta Stone. You know what the Rosetta Stone is? It's like that stone they found that helps you interpret all languages, right? So it's like this key stone, okay? So one part's the Rosetta Stone, and that's what LifeGen Technologies is. They've got the key database, they've got the interpretation. You know, they've got the Rosetta Stone for genetic expression, right? So you gotta know that, otherwise you don't know what your target is. You don't know what you're trying to accomplish unless you have the key. And then the second part are these chips, these gene chips. So you can take DNA and you can put it right in these chips and within minutes you can get a heat map. This is a heat map right here. So I talk about these three boxes, you know, and these heat maps represent 52 genes in every map right here. Every slice is a gene. Some are green, they're cold. Some are red, they're hot. You know, they just get different expressions over time. And so that's what I explain to them and I say, look, the expression on this side next to the chip is when you're young. And that's what the Rosetta Stone's all about. We know what all those expressions are supposed to look like in their expression. We know that for every tissue. That's what we get with LifeGen. The middle part is what happens when you get into middle age. You basically are 180 degrees from where you should be on your genetic expression. And that's aging, right? That's what happens. And then the one on the far side over here on your far right would be the, the reset. And so what new skin scientists can do is they can come up with formulas, and they feed them to people for 90 days. And in 90 days, they take DNA samples and they plug them into this chip, and they see if the far one matches the youthful expression. And they just keep trying that. They modify the formula, another 90 days, test them again, modify the formula, another 90 days, test them again, until they get this one over here close to matching this one over here, as close as they can get it. Then we know that that formula works, and it can reset those genes so the expression will act more like it did when you were young. That's it, right? That's what we do, and we're way ahead of everybody. 28 patents published or pending on age lock science. 28 now. Okay, so you know, we keep making the progress on this front. It keeps getting better and better, and we can continue to come up with these for virtually every tissue in the body. These are the age lock products we have today, and you ought to be using all of them, right? Phenomenal products. We talk about oils, we talk about those coming, what oils have done over time. You know, since the story of baby Jesus, three wise men showed up with gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And even back then, frankincense was a big deal, and people thought it was worth more than gold. They did. So powerful what it can do for you, right? And there's tons of uses, hundreds of uses 
of essential oils for natural therapy and natural assistance with problems you may have and making your health better. You know, and if you're stressed and you can't sleep, and put some lavender in your diffuser and put it in your bedroom and let it atomize the lavender and breathe it in and let it relax your whole body and get a nice deep sleep, you know? I mean, it just goes on and on. There's tons of things we can do with these oils, and we're going to launch those oils in a couple of weeks. And that's pretty much what I say on that. And then I move on to the next one. And I talk about, you know, we mentioned they pushed the envelope of anti-aging, right? We're not going to sell coffee, but let's talk about coffee. <laughs> so this is where we give them the, the, the instructions on what we're doing. We ask ourselves, what is an appliance we can put in every home in the world that people would use every month? And so we looked in the, around in the home, people's homes, and said, you know, what have people done in the past? Well, here's a couple of examples of what has been done. Keurig came out 10 years ago and started selling these patented brewers, and they started putting these K-cups out with different flavors and different, you know, so forth, varieties, and people could go ahead and have an instant brewed, high-quality cup of coffee instantly in their home. These brewers are patented. These little things right here have a little code so that you can't even use fake ones in the, in the brewer. So, uh, you know, some people take that little lip and they cut it off and they glue it up into the top of the brewer so they can use fake ones. All right? So, it's an awesome thing because it's patented, because once you buy the machine, you've made an investment, you probably want to keep using their K-cups, and that is exactly what has happened, right? So that's one example. Another example would be HP. Hewlett Packard is an enormous company. Last year, they sold $25 billion of ink. 40% of their enterprise profit comes from ink. Okay, that's how powerful that piece of business is for HP. And they know they can almost give, give away the printer because the value of the ink that you will put in that printer over the next several years you know, is far in excess of any margin they would make selling you that, uh, that printer. If you want to talk about success with Keurig, 45 million machines have been sold all over the world. Uh, 30 billion K-cups have been sold. Sales last year twice as large as New Skin here. Almost twice on one product line. One idea, okay? Now, wouldn't it have been great if Curry came out to a meeting like this when they started and said, you know what, we've got this patented machine, they can only use our K-cups in it. If you guys want to distribute this machine, we'll let you do it exclusively, and we'll pay you on all the K-cups for the rest of your lives. Would have that been a good opportunity? <laughs> you probably would have said, hey, that sounds pretty good, maybe I'll do coffee, right? <laughs> so that didn't happen, and hey, Hewlett Packard didn't come to you either. But we're coming to you, and we're saying, listen, we've got a total clean sheet design. No one's ever thought of anything like this before. We've said to ourselves, what's an appliance we can put in people's homes that they'll use every day, you know, for years and years to come, and we can get paid on the consumption of the disposable cartridges that go inside of this product. And so we, we have age lock Me. I actually was able to try this product two days ago for the first time, a real one, and it is very, very cool, you know, how it actually actually work. So we have these disposable cartridges that go on the top. We have serums and we have treatments and uh, you can get different mixtures of these. In fact, the, uh, the stats on it are this. We can get over 500 costume mixtures. Look at that. <laughs> Drop that E out there, you guys. Custom. Custom. Type, type. Anyway, so it's the first personalized, customizable skincare device. You have an app, you go through the app and you ask questions, you see pictures of skin, you see pictures of wrinkles, and you slide the bar and say, my wrinkles are pretty much like that. My pore sizes are like that. My texture is like that. I think my skin's dry, I think it's oily, I live in this place. It's geo-referenced, it knows where you're at because of the, the app. And so it can put in your temperatures, your humidity for where you live. I mean, this is awesome, right? So it is a cool, Cool thing, how it works. New Skin. New Skin's put in over 30 million into this project over the last five years. 2010, they started this idea and started funding it. What are they starting this year that we will see in 2020? It's already going. Okay? Constant stream of innovation. That's what's happening with this company right now. So 12 patents are pending right now. A lot of them have to do with the very unique mixture uh, mechanisms that are inside of this product. You know, it's going to be hard for people to copy this product. 
This is a game changer. Why is it a game changer? Because the whole industry is about jars, bottles and jars right now. And this is totally different. Bottles and jars are going to go away, and people are going to go to these kinds of machines. All right? And the reason they're going to do that is because when you stick your finger in a jar, you introduce bacteria. And every company on the planet, including New Skin, has antimicrobial, antibacterial preservative systems that are in every single jar. This has no preservative systems, no antibacterial. You don't even need it, okay? It cannot be contaminated, all right? So it's pure. And because it's a whole step up in purity and quality and effectiveness, all right, everybody's going to have to go to us. All of our competitors are going to be forced to do something along these lines, and those 12 patents pending are going to slow them down. Okay, they'll do it eventually. They'll figure out something someday. Okay, we've got the lead. We got the first mover advantage. And what we need to do is flood the world with these angel like me is all over people's bathroom cannabis, right? And don't worry, by the way, if you travel, because you can program the top for the travel mode, and you can tell them how many days you'll be gone, and you get these little containers, and it will dispense how many days you need for day and night, for, you know, applications while you're on the road. So it's all there, okay? It's really awesome how it works. Okay, so a very, very cool device, and this is going to be big, really big. No one's ever done anything like this before. And we get back next October, you might say, well, what are we going to do until then? Well, we got some great stuff for you between now and then, right? And I guess we don't have that uh, youth in there. We should have. I'll tell you about it anyway. All right, so let's talk about each lock youth. We get that. Uh, product this October. So oils in a couple of weeks, and then October we get HLOC U. What is HLOC U? Well, you probably saw Time Magazine, February 12th issue, 52 page section about genetic expression and anti aging. Okay? This is not uh, unfamiliar to us. In 1992, Time Magazine ran a 50 plus page section on the real power of vitamins. We happen to have come up with a new product that year called. Vital Life Pack, which we shortened the name to Life Pack eventually about six months later. Life Pack has now sold $3.15 billion of product over the last 20 years around the world. From 1995 to 2015, $3.15 billion of Life Pack. We've paid almost $1.4 billion in commissions on that one product line alone. That's a successful product, okay? That's a blockbuster product. What will happen with HLOC Youth? HLOC Youth is being introduced at the same time. We just coincidentally have this new uh, Time Magazine pop out. It's like eerily similar. It's kind of like deja vu for me. I'm going, okay, 50 page article again on the brand new product that we're just coming out with. <laughs> this is pretty good. I feel like the stars are lining up for me right now. And so this product, HLOC Youth, is interesting because it actually scores on the scanner, so it'll be scanner friendly, it'll still generate a score, but it also contains certain genetic components that we don't have in LifePack, in any of the LifePack family. And you know, 10 years ago we came up with LifePack Now. Guys, in 10 years things change, you know? Research moves forward, things happen. This is an unbelievably cool product. It's one capsule, but it's got a capsule inside the capsule. So there's two capsules, and inside is dry, and inside the, in between on the outer shell is liquid. So it's all like in one capsule. It is a really cool delivery system, you know. We came up with a new sachet delivery for vitamins and life pack. We were the first ones to put them in plastic bags, right? And that was just a delivery was important. Well, this delivery is cool because it's one capsule. A capsule inside a capsule. It's one swallow, two capsules, basically. It's really cool how it works. So that product is going to be available this October, and it will do extra things that you can't get out of LifePack by itself. So it's the latest in, in anti-aging supplementation. And I'm excited for it. How big will it be in the next 20 years as we come up with HLOC youth and variations on that product? You know, could it be another three and a half billion dollar product? And another, you know, 1.5 or 7 billion in commissions paid off that product? Has every potential. To be able to do that, we've already done it once, and uh, this is just the next generation of what's going to happen with HLOC youth coming, okay? Uh, incidentally, the first article in that 52-page section of the February 12th issue of Time Magazine uh, is a study that talks about mice living 77% longer than other mice. And what they did is they fed them small doses of a drug called rapamycin. So they would take these, this rapamycin, this already an FDA-approved drug, 
and they just took it and used it for a different purpose in this test. So they've not done it on humans yet, they'll probably do that at some point, but on mice they get this little teeny dose and they apply it consistently, they live 77% longer. It's interesting to note that one of the two co-founders who discovered and patented rapamycin is a guy named Joseph Chang. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Now listen, we're, uh, we're not going to be selling drugs, okay? We're not going to be selling rapamycin, okay? But it just is nice to know that you've got a guy who's the chief scientific officer of this company, whose history goes back 20 years, you know, developing this drug, that just so happens to be being used in one of the major research studies on longevity. Pretty interesting. Okay? All right, we're done with number two. Now we got to really hurry, 11 minutes. So now we're down to the company. Uh, number three, I tell them, we're on number three, right? So pay attention. This company, we could go on and on. The best thing I can say is we're publicly traded. Symbols in US. Now, anytime you go on the internet, you're gonna find good and bad, and you can do that for anything on the internet, okay? When you go there, you'll see both on new skin, but I'm just telling you to do your homework. Just keep reading. The deeper you dig on this company, the more you're gonna like what you see about what we are. We're an open book. You can know everything about us, all right? So it's a phenomenal company. We're doing business in 53 countries, and we believe we'll have 54 by the end of this year in the country, Chile, that will be opening for the New Skin. Woo! I never dreamed when I started New Skin that I would have it happen someday, that the circumstances would occur, that in some future day, I would be able to make more money when I'm sleeping than when I'm awake. I never thought that would actually happen. I never contemplated that. But that has actually come to be the case. And it's amazing to create a business that doesn't depend on any one currency, any one economy, you know, that you can diversify your income stream without risk, debt, or expenditure on assets in any of these countries. You can just create a global network that can pay you for the rest of your life. And that's what I've been able to do, and thousands of other people are participating in that opportunity as well. And if you get engaged in New Skin, I don't think you can go 10 years without being in 15 or 20 countries even if you never talk to anybody yourself in those countries. Because people you know, know people who know people, and this thing will spread around this networked world that we're part of today uh, on this planet. Two and a half billion in sales last year. Now some of the people have said, well, what happens if they see it was 3.1 billion last year, you know, 3.18, and now it's, well, what happened? You went backwards. Can you please show me any company that's gone straight up forever? Can you do that? Show me one. Please, any, any company. I want to know any company that's gone straight up forever. You know, maybe, maybe there's one out there somewhere, but I don't think so. Companies grow and companies level off, and sometimes they dip, and then they gather their strength and they grow again, and they level off and they dip, and then they grow again. We've done it our whole, our whole 30 years of our existence of New Skin, and most companies do the same thing. It's never always just straight up. Two and a half billion is nothing to sneeze at. You don't have to say anything to anybody or justify yourself in any way to anybody, okay? We did two and a half billion. That's all you have to say, period, okay? It's two and a half billion last year, and we'll do more this year, okay? So anyway, great company, lots of accolades, and a great heart. We uh, are approaching 500 million meals fed to starving children all over the world. Uh, this company cares. This company is a great corporate citizen. This company gives back. And we hope that you'll join us in giving back and feeding a child every month at a minimum as you uh, participate with us in the company, right? We're done with number three, we're on number four. Okay, you see how I'm tracking them through? Make sure you talk like that and you can get people to follow you. On this one here, what I focus on first is executive. I talk about the fact that when you're only a distributor, you really can't play the game of New Skin. You can only play the game once you become an executive. Now the whole future of the compensation plan, the whole global opportunity is now open to you. Until then, it's not, okay? If you wanna get that, you've got to become an executive. This is 60 days normally, 90 days for a lot of folks, and that's great. Average income, $5,400 last year, and uh, actually 13. We're gonna get, in a couple of weeks, we'll get the 14 numbers. We always get them in April of the next year, right? So five five thousand four hundred dollars, four hundred and fifty a month. That's not a lot of money, but it is a car payment. It's a new car. It starts changing people's lives, even right there at the beginning. Okay. So once you become an executive yourself, you know how to do it. You did it. 
So what you do now is you help four people to do that on your front line so you can become a Ruby executive. The average income for Rubies last year was $34,400, about $2,800 a month, and most people do that in about a year. When you do it and you maintain it for three months, you go on a nice trip someplace in the world, paid for by New Skin, and it's a great reward. And that will expose you to a different group of distributors. People that you can lock arms with, that you're part of a team with, and you can go, you know, one team, one dream, one billion. You can take your own business along with everybody else and participate in what we're doing. Now, it's not uncommon. You might have to replace a couple of these people. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's two, and rarely it's three, okay? But you are going to have to stabilize your Ruby organization. Once you've stabilized that, then you go get the next four. And now you'll have eight executives on your front line. And the average income is 127000 a year ago for that, about 10000 a month of income, which is significant in anybody's book. And to give you a, a, a frame of reference on that, I'd like to know how many people here graduated from university or college for your program. Most of you. How many started at 10000 a month? <laughs> oh, that's always interesting, isn't it? Get your audience involved, okay? And so they start to go, wow. What's the time frame there? Well, it's two and a half to three years. It's the average time for people from the day they start to the day they become diamond executives in New Skin. So this is a better program. It's the New Skin University right there. It's a three-year three program. You graduated 10,000 a month. Better, right? And then lastly, number four, once you've stabilized diamond and go for Blue Diamond, you got 12 executives on your front line. Average income for Blue Diamond is over 600,000 last year, more than 52,000 a month. You know, that is insane money. And if you can create a business where that is a consistent recurring stream of money, that is something that is so rare and so unique. I mean, honestly, every CEO in this country doesn't have that. They, they're employed as a CEO at the pleasure of the board of directors. And if the board ever decides that they're not doing their job and they're fired, they don't get any more money, okay? Nobody can fire you from being a blue diamond. You build this, you got it, okay? You have recurring stream of money that creates a sense of freedom and contentment and security for your future that is unlike anything else I've ever seen. Are you guys writing down some of my words? Yes. Okay? You gotta paint the picture in people's minds. They gotta feel those emotions of contentment, security, you know, peace about their future. Because very few people got peace about their future right now. So, you know, that's what we do. These are published by law. We have to publish them. Okay, we're public. You can make them. They're real. And what you've got to do is decide that you're going to do it. You're going to make a commitment and make that happen. That's the trip we're talking about. Our next one's to Alaska. It's at the end of this month. So everybody here, you got 11 days, right? To get it all done. Become Ruby, finish off your Alaska executives, and make it happen so you're in Alaska in August. Uh, this slide is outdated, guys. We need to update this one, too. So it's 1,103 people at the end of 2014. Write that down. Slide's wrong. 1,103 million circle, million, million dollar circle numbers at the end of 2014. So we continue to create these people. We do it every three days on average now. The day will come when we will make a millionaire every single day. We'll be a big enough company. We're paying out consistent commissions. It'll happen eventually that we will make a millionaire every day. Today it's every three days, okay? Which is remarkable because I'm sure that happens where you work right now, right? Unless you walk into the office and on the board there they have the new millionaires every three days. They don't, they don't do that where you work, really? Nobody makes a million where you work? Maybe you're in the wrong meeting. Maybe you ought to rethink about where you're working and what you're doing with your life and your time, right? Because we have that happening every three days here. And if it's every three days, it can't just be some unique individual, can it? It's probably every kind of person. And if every kind of person is you know, able to get into this million, million dollar circle, that means you can get in there too. And so that's what you ought to be thinking about. You know, this is a level playing field. We're done with number four, we're on number five. Time, you with me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So we have a goal in North America alone for a billion. Uh, this past uh, two weeks ago in South America, these guys all decided they're gonna do their own billion. Okay, so they wanna do a billion themselves in South, South America. But our immediate goal here is a billion in North America. We know we can do it, okay? That's our immediate target, and we've got a huge window of opportunity because of that growth. 
It's $370 million a year of new distributor commissions every year. Okay, we want to pay that money out. And we will as we create executives, create rubies, create the structure to hang the volume on. That will happen. We'll do a billion dollars. We need a thousand new blue diamonds to make that happen. So we need a thousand people that want to make 52,000 a month on average for the rest of their lives. That's what we need. Can we find anybody like that? Woo! I, think, I think we can. Tens of thousands of other new leaders would be the result of this happening. You know, tens of thousands of people going on you know success trips. Tens of thousands of people having their lives impacted positively, right? And even if you don't make any cash money out of this business, do you know how bad it is? This is as bad as it gets. You'll live longer and look better. <laughs> That's the worst downside of this whole thing. And if you can handle looking better and living longer, and that's as bad as it gets, then you know, you're in the right place, right? You got the right thing. So we recommend you buy three of these packages. You can get your first step done today to be an executive. You can do it now, right now, tonight you can do it. And you need to take action now, okay? You know, you can buy one and you can enroll three people and you can also take care of that first step to becoming an executive so you can play the game of new skin with the rest of us. And we want you to be able to do that, right? So that's the sign up. And at this point, guys, what I do is I put a little urgency on them. You gotta put the urgency on people. And here's all I say, I go, look, you know, you can turn to the person who invited you here tonight and you can tell them, you know, sounds really good, I mean, you know, obviously this is a pretty interesting thing. And I get it, yeah, my head was doing this all night, yeah. That's right. And uh, you know, I need to go talk to my spouse and I'll let you know tomorrow. So I don't know if you guys know how many business briefing presentations I've done. How many five points do you think I've done? A lot. A lot, okay? Here's what happens. I mean, I've done this so many times, you know, I've seen every kind of person. I've seen you. Not maybe you, but I've seen people exactly like you, okay? So after speaking to literally a million people about this opportunity, here's what happens. If people don't do it now, if they don't decide right now tonight, and just do it and join, okay? The chances they will do it one day later drop to 50%. Now, do you think that somehow the comp plan got chopped in half overnight? Did the products become half as effective overnight? You know, did the opportunity change overnight? Well, why is it only a 50% chance one day later? It's not anything wrong or changing with the opportunity. It's life happens to people. And you gotta realize that everybody is a creature of habit. All of us are. You know, change is hard. If you're going to change, that requires you to do something different. Like join New Skin. Like get out of your box, right? You can't change inside your box. you got to get outside the box. Outside your comfort zone. And that is uncomfortable. That requires change. And so you have to fight to change. You really do. Because you are so much a creature of habit that if you don't make a deliberate step, a deliberate decision that you're going to change, then you're just going to get sucked right back into the routine, and it's okay because you just kind of pay your bills, and it's not great, and you hate it, and you wait on Monday, hope it was Friday, Tuesday, hope it was Friday, Tuesday, hope it was Friday, and you just do that whole thing, and you do it month after month, year after year, and pretty soon you're screwed, you know? Time's off. You're out of runway. It's over. That's what happens to people. So you have to decide you're going to change. And that means you take action and you do it now. That's my speech, to close it up, okay? That's, that's what I say to people, because it's true. And people know that's true, you know? Now you're going to get my comfort zone, okay? Then do it! You know, sign up right now. And I just tell them, like, you know, give up. Resistance is futile. It's done. You're in anyway, so just forget about fighting it. Just sign up. <laughs> Most of the time, people will do it, you know? A bunch more will laugh and they'll sign up. All right, so that's the, the business briefing. That's the five-point presentation. Uh, you're going to have a great weekend. You have such an amazing lineup of leaders and speakers this weekend. I hope your minds are open. You're capturing all you can capture. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend. <laughs>